capital city of Kenya is Nairobi. It is a big cosmopolitan city with over one million people. It has beautiful nightclubs, beautiful people, a great exciting place. My goal in Kenya was to introduce kickboxing in Kenya. Just as we market products in America through mass media, this is the way we were to mass market kickboxing. And I was to have a news conference at the New Stanley Hotel. Uh, good morning. I'd, I'd like on behalf of uh, Sarovo Hotels, uh, the management and the directors, to welcome the champ. Uh, I'll be a city council. His worship the mayor, the councillors and the people of Nairobi. I'm proud that you have chosen Nairobi City to be the venue of the world title fight in July. On behalf of his worship the mayor, the councillors of the Nairobi City Council, I wish to, inv to welcome you to Nairobi. So uh, I'm here to introduce my sport of exciting karate kickboxing, and, and I hope, or what my goal is to achieve, is to benefit the African country by bringing the Africans and the African Americans. The place where you go in a foreign country to find karate kickboxing is where? At a karate school. The first place that I went to was the Taekwondo Karate School where we talked to Chief Taekwondo Instructor Mr. Ernest Olayo who provided us with a wealth of karate fighters. I've, uh, I've trained in Taekwondo for the last uh, 13 years, 14 years now and I've been an instructor for Taekwondo for the last 7 years. Uh, basically what we do in uh, Taekwondo is a, a sort of traditional uh, way of uh, fighting in in, uh, in uh, Korea, and uh, it's the same for karate. It's Japanese way of fighting, and uh, maybe Confucius Chinese. What you have now is uh, compared to uh, kickboxing, which is coming in Kenya maybe for the first time, and they're going to launch it. Kickboxing has dropped away most of the traditional regalia. Some you know you bow and uh, and. Uh, that sort of thing, it's taken off, combining mostly the boxing, as you know it, in the ring and the kicks that are adopted from the uh, Eastern martial, I mean, martial arts. So, I tend to think that in Taekwondo we have a good basic for somebody who wants to train kickboxing. You've, of course, you go to, you're going to use your hands, you're going to use your legs, and uh, in Taekwondo we specialize naturally in kicking much. If somebody has done basic Taekwondo, or, basic karate for kids, then you can go in for boxing. If you combine these two, I'm sure you can get a good player for kickboxing. What we're going to do this evening is that we're going to put on the gloves, we're going to put on the foot gear, and of course, even though we're not going to read tonight, uh, I'll give you some pointers and we'll let you spar a little bit. And of course, the next day, I'm going to invite all of you out tomorrow to the boxing gym when I'll spar with some of you. So uh, thank you for your attention, thank you for your great participation. Sure 
Listen, I am so impressed with the kickboxers in Kenya. Uh, and I know that, first of all, Africans are so talented anyway. And just to come here is just a natural. You know, uh, karate actually started with Africa. In Africa, way back as far as the pyramids, it was African people that actually started karate. And so this is just natural for us. No knees will be allowed. Uh, no grabbing and holding the legs. No knees, no elbows. Um, the, the techniques are basically like that of boxing. Now, you will be able to do leg sweeps, boot to boot as such. Not on the upper part of the leg or to the joints. But you can do leg sweeps, but there's no grabbing, no holding, no throws. Just basic, the fight is your basic traditional karate. You'll be using uh, 10 ounce boxing gloves and you'll be judged on a 10 point must system. You know, I travel 10,000 miles to Kenya to introduce kickboxing to my brothers in Kenya. And of course, I met a brother who I uh, really admire and I think is about as crazy as me for doing this kickboxing. Uh, his name is Memba Moruki. Uh, I just had to ask Memba, you know, here you are in Kenya. Most people think that people in Kenya are hung out in the bush and what have you. And uh, I learned that Mimba is a practicing attorney here in Kenya. And what I'd like you to tell my friends in America and those who are watching on camera, why is it that a, an attorney who don't have to get in there and kickbox, why would you take a chance on getting in there and getting your brains beat in doing some kickboxing? Please, please tell us why you do this. You know, I do kickboxing because, uh, well, it's a challenge. I like the feeling of being in the ring. And it brings out, uh, you know, probably brings out some challenge that I like to face. Maybe brings out the best in me. Yeah. I tell you what, we're going to wish you good luck, you know, on coming with the fight yeah. uh, Saturday night. Uh, one thing I'd like, like you to do that, that I like to hear so much even though we can't understand you, but please pass your love on to all our brothers and sisters out there watching in America. Yeah. Uh, please say something and send them greetings in Swahili. Mm -hmm. One, well, I'd like to tell them that we don't live in the bush. In, no, no, no. In Speak in Swahili. No, no. Speak in Swahili. They can fit it even though they can't understand it. Yeah. Say it in Swahili. Tunaishi kwa manyumba kama nini. Hatuishi kwa kichaka uko inje. Mambia salama kwa nini. Thank you.
five-time world super heavyweight kickboxing champion. Kickboxing combined the 3,000 euro honor provided with the skills of boxing. 